This is a case of a 38-year-old patient with a previous history of colonic cancer in a Lynch syndrome. She was referred to our department because of a pulmonary mass of the right lower lobe. Chest computed tomography and holographic reconstruction disclosed a transdiaphragmatic feeding artery from the abdominal aorta entering the pulmonary lesion thus suggesting an intraloba pulmonary sequestration. Thanks to the holographic reconstruction based on preoperative standard CT scan, we were able to stretch and rotate the wall image to better visualize all vascular structures. You can clearly see the feeding artery from the aorta, pulmonary arteries here in red, and veins in blue, as well as the wall tracheobronchial tree light blue. Thanks to selective visualization, we can identify all the branches of the pulmonary artery for the right lower lobe. In this case, we have the standard apical inferior and basilar trunks. After visualizing the pulmonary artery together with the bronchial tree, to better localize the artery branches, we can remove the bronchial tree and focus only on the artery branches. We then remove the arteries to better visualize only the bronchial tree, light blue, its relations with the sequestration and the feeding artery curves. We then visualize the venous system, disclosing the standard anatomy of the right lower pulmonary vein, and subsequently we reintroduce the pulmonary artery system and then the aortic feeding artery and the wall aorta to have a global view of the surgical field. We then introduce the pulmonary inflated parenchyma to clearly visualize the sequestration within the lobe and thanks to complete rotation of the model, we can have a dedicated view from the basis of the lung.